I got this interesting comment on my channel, and it was talking about how they were going to convert a uh, a hoverboard motor into a generator. And so I kind of wanted to go into maybe how you would do something like that. Um, so I have the hoverboard motor here. Um, this is a brushless DC motor. So what that kind of looks like is... Uh, switch over you can kind of see the inside here um, but it's a three-phased motor so it looks something like that there's three phases it goes up and down and um, I'm just gonna boot up uh, some like waveform generator software uh, and actually measure these Okay, so uh, let's run this and see what we get here. Is there anything? Okay, so we get some uh, back EMF feedback. Um, let's move, let's do an auto set. So I'm going to roll this and it's going to auto calibrate. Okay, there we go. So you, uh, it's probably kind of tiny. Um, that's about five volts here. If I go super fast, you can see it going. I actually have a piece of Velcro on this drill. I can technically make this go by the drill. So better go up there. I think I've been able to get it past 25 volts. So yeah, that's a single phase um, of a brushless DC motor of these hoverboard motors. They have a very low KV that um, they don't spin very fast. They have a lot of torque. So one of the things that I wanted to do is how would you actually convert this into a uh, generator? Because when you spin this, you know, you're getting below zero volts here. It's like negative five volts to five volts, right? So what I wanted to do was there's something that you can add, a component called a uh, rectifier. So I have one of these components here. Kind of hard to see. Component name is I think it was RC205. So it's one of these guys. Um, so it has four uh, prongs. Um, one of the prongs is longer, and then there's another one that's for the minus, so one's the positive, one's negative, and then the two in the middle are the phase. This is only a, uh, a single phase bridge rectifier, uh, which means that you connect positive and negative, um, and, and you'll basically get clipping of the voltage, but it won't go under zero volts. It won't go to like negative five or negative 10 or whatever. Uh, and then the AC1 and the AC2 is the, um, is the phase. So this is not a uh, you know, multi-phase rectifier. This is only single phase. So let's, let's connect this up. See what the waveform looks like after this. Part is super cheap. I think it was like 60 cents or something. But essentially, you're just uh, kind of clustering uh, a bunch of diodes together. Uh, you can easily do this with uh, diodes too. Group of diodes. It just it'd be more components. So let's see what the phase looks like now. So it looks like uh, basically there's a bunch of noise on the line. 
and it doesn't look like much and it looks like you know just a bunch of noise all over the place so uh, one of the things that we need to do is ground the waveform generator to the chassis of the hoverboard motor okay now that looks a lot better so it's roughly at zero So you can see it's under negative five. It's probably because I need to switch the polarity here. There we go. So now you see this is what happens when you have a single phase bridge rectifier. So it's not clipping below zero volts anymore, which is good. measure so what can we actually do with this I mean if we you know you have a single phase here and it's not going below zero volts which is a good thing but you still kind of don't want that uh, bottom ripple there so see if there's anything that we can do about that um, I have another uh, RC205 here. Um, maybe we can add this to uh, the other phase here that I sort of left off uh, right here. There's another phase that I'm not working with. But let's work with it and see if we can uh, sort of cover up that, uh, that dip there or make it a little bit more smooth. So that's a lot better adding two rectifiers just one. Uh, yeah, this is rat's nest. But where it gets the point across that you can kind of use a hoverboard motor as a sort of form of generator with the back EMF. So that's sort of interesting. I just wanted to capture that. Um, just make a quick video on it. Didn't want to do a complete full length script, scripted video or anything. Thought it was worth uh, at least a mention. Um, the other diodes that I could have used, the their BY five hundred dash six hundred, those are uh, power diodes. So that's something that you'd probably be dealing with massive voltages. But I'd check the data sheet. Anyways, this wasn't going to be a very long video, um, but that's pretty much it.